Hello and welcome to Let's Play, The Raccoon Who Lost Their Shape, created by Fathom and Scuffy. Okay, we got another film cow game. I'm addicted to these games. I've played every one possible, I think, and so of course, I'm going to play this one. So here we go. Let's do it. Space bar to begin. Oh, just, just, let, me, just let me hit the space bar. There we go. <laughs> Flash game. People come in many different shapes. Literal shapes. Shapes with faces on them. Alright. Okay. Uh, okay. Shape people. Many years ago, I discovered I had an ability. The ability to contact shape people who had died. Their souls trapped forever in the shape person death realm. I am a medium between the world of the living and the dead. But only for shape people. Jason Steele, what do you smoke that makes you able to write this sort of thing? <laughs> because, because I want some. People who are literally large, flat, conscious shapes with faces on them and nothing else. This is my story. I like how stoic that raccoon looks. Here I go. That is a moon with a face on it. Got my wallpaper. This looks locked, maybe? Is that a phone? I have no one to call. Okay. And no one calls me. That's very sad, Mr. Raccoon. Okay. Alright. Um, I think I got a thing here. This button sends in my next client via the state-funded Shape People Tube System. Okay. It is a network of tubes that shape people travel through to get places because they do not have arms or legs. Alright. They are just shapes. That's all the time I have for today, my friend. No, I'm just joking. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? I, I don't know, I guess so. You're the detective here. Press the button and send in the next shape client. Do not press the button and continue faffing about. Well, no time to be faffing about. Boop, I pressed it. Fantastic! <laughs> Look at you. Look at your little face. Oh, it's the Pentagon. Uh, Alright, talk to me, shape buddy. Hello, I am a Pentagon. Pentagons have five sides and five corners. Yes, they do, Mr. Pentagon. Yes, I know what a pentagon is. Yes, hello, good to meet you. Alright, hello, good to meet you. Indeed. I am here because I need you to contact my beloved and recently dead friend who is a circle. See? Uh, yes, you heard me. A circle. You might wonder how someone with such an abundance of sides could be friends with someone who has none. It was a lot of work, but the circle finally understood the true superiority of sides and angles. This game's an engineer's dream, really. And thus, they also came to understand the truth of their own inferior shape. Uh, okay. You sound like a terrible friend. <laughs> I would not expect you to understand. You too lack sides. And manners. The reason I need to contact my dead sideless friend is because of a locked door I have discovered hidden behind a bookshelf in their old library. Okay. I would like you to ask them where I might find the key to this door. You're so good at angles, why don't you open it with your freaking pointy head then? Can you do that for me? Can you complete this simple task? Okay. No, go. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Whatever. Very good. I have brought with me a personal items of theirs. A book. How would a circle read a book if they don't got any hands to, like, uh, turn the pages or whatever? That is all you need to contact them, correct? A personal item that they owned? It's typically how it works in this kind of thing, yeah. I also need some time off work. A week or two. Yes, that is all I need to summon a dead shape ghost. Sure, whatever. Good. Here is their personal item. Let me know when you find the location of the key. 
Okay. How do I... How do I breathe? Oh god. Oh jeez. There's some magic. Hang on, what's up? I want to see what's through this door. I still have work to do. I can't leave yet. Oh man, I could have left. I mean, I could leave. I want to leave. <laughs> but I'm not going to leave. Beautifully written. Alright, let's do our weird satanic magic cult stuff. Oh jeez. Oh, is this Wicca, Satanic Rituals, Full Metal Alchemist? No one knows, really. Alright, let's find out. This is my summoning altar. I use it to summon the ghost of shape people. Okay. Shape people are the only people who seem to turn into ghosts when they die. Regular people, unfortunately, do not. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I worry that it's because non-shaped people like myself do not have a soul. <laughs> this game's getting deep. I think a lot about my own death. Shall I, sh shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? <gasps> summon the shape ghost! Oh my god, look at him. Oh man, such effects. Whoa, such effect, much raccoon, wow! Oh, okay. Hello, circle friend. H how you doing? Oh, hello, I am a circle. But I'm sure you knew that. I, I did, yes. I wasn't expected to be summoned today. How interesting. May I help you with something? A friend of yours hired me to summon you. They found a locked door in your old library and would like to know the location of the key. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Circle, you're such a conversationalist. I love looking into your weird Circle eyes. Which friend might you be referring to? It's a Pentagon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Circular laughing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my friend. Did they tell you about the glory of the angles and sides? Yes, he was kind of a jerk. Did they explain in great detail the perfection of their holy pentagon form? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really annoying. Please, tell them that the key is hidden behind the old wall clock. I'm sorry, I can't read today, you guys. Hidden behind the old wall clock that hangs on the other side of the library. Do you know what is behind the locked door? No, no, you should tell me, though. A canister of toxic gas. Rigged to spray anyone who goes snooping around where they don't belong. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna have to make difficult decisions in this game. Are you kidding me? Frig. Tell that pentagon that the great treasure... Oh, no, don't make me kill people or shape people. This No, this is a lot of responsibility. This is a lot of... I don't know. This is... Um... Oh, my gosh. Okay, focus. Focus, Moki. Tell that pentagon that the great treasure is hidden inside the room or theirs for their taking. Are theirs for the taking. Oh, I'm so stressed out right now. I don't want to kill any shape people, even if they are jerks. Ha! That's my favorite line in this game so far. Thank you for your information. Actually, there was one more thing. Have you happened upon any crescents during your time in the realm of the dead? Wow, this is a really in-depth game. I have no idea what that even is. No, not that I can remember. Crescents are fairly rare as far as shape people go, so I'm sure I would recall having seen one. Ah, uh, well, thank you anyway. Oh my god, this game is way too intense to be a pixely game. I don't want to kill a pentagon people. Oh man, I'm gonna pace around like an anxious raccoon. <laughs> Is there anything else? I, I guess not. Uh, it took a lot of work and I don't think people appreciate how complicated shape summoning can be. 
I could have gone to the beach today. This raccoon is my spirit animal. This raccoon is definitely my spirit animal. Oh no. Oh god, should I kill him? Should I let him live? Oh, should I kill him? Should I let him live? Oh, he's a jerk. I mean, that face. That face is really weird, but... Oh, there's the crescent. Is he my friend? Why do I even have a phone in here? I guess to order food. It's usually too expensive, though. This phone serves no pur purpose other than to taunt me. This game's amazing. Um, okay. Have you discovered the location of the key? <sighs> oh, man. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. I don't know what I should do. <sighs> I'm gonna do what you guys want me to do. And every time I play one of these games, you guys want me to be a jerk. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna- I'm gonna kill- I'm gonna- I'm gonna throw up. Okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, stupid pentagon man. Ah uh, yes, I know of that clock. You have completed your task. I shall submit payment for your fee through the Shape Network payment system. Good day. Well, that sucks. Well, my work for the day is done. Time to go home. Nor I could just sleep at the office. Hmm, I think I still have some ramen at home. Nice. If I get home and don't have any ramen left, I'm gonna be all torn up about it. There was no ramen. Ah. God, this raccoon is my spirit animal. There wasn't even any ramen. Going to the summoning room. I'm an adult and can make my own choices, and this is my choice. Can I leave yet? It would be so easy to just walk out the door. So easy. Um... Time for another case, I suppose. All I need to do is push that button. That's all I need to do. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Yes, send in the shape client. We're apparently just gonna murder them all anyway. Let's just, let's just murder, beep boop, here we go. Murder, murder. Oh, it's a square. Square has a very um, jaunty face, actually. Got kind of the round Santa Claus cheeks. I already have a client here. If I push the button in your shape form, crushing the first one. I would get sued over that in shape people court. Uh, there's a court system for shape people. I'm just trying to talk to the circle, thanks. Okay. Yes, hello, I am a square. Four points and four equal sides. It's very easy to remember what a square looks like. And that ease can be a small comfort in hard times. Huh, get it? Hard times? You're like a square, like a block. It's hard. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll shut up now. What a lovely office you have. Oh, thank you. You're not a jerk like the last guy. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I believe I've made my right choice in coming to you. I can tell already. Oh, well, you're a nice square. Oh man, YouTube's gonna make me kill you. I don't want, I don't want blood on my little tiny raccoon hands. <sighs> the reason I'm in need of your services is that I very much want to send a message to a departed friend, a rectangle. We are very similar in many ways, as you might imagine. Yes, except that you're equilateral and a rectangle isn't. But not just in shape, in spirit as well. Oh, what a good friend they were. What a very good friend indeed. Oh. What message would you like me to give them? Yes, the message. I would like you to tell the rectangle. Tell them that I still think very dearly of them. Oh. Okay, I'll let them know. Wonderful, thank you so much. Here is a personal items of theirs to assist with the summoning. It's a letter I wrote many years ago telling them what a dear they are. Aww. They framed it and put it on their nightstand. Aww. And they wrapped a bow around the frame. Aww. 
Thank you, this should work. I will let you know when the summoning is complete. I'm so nervous. I hope they still think dearly of me. Aw, aww. I feel like this is like a rectangular love story right now. How do I just know this is gonna go wrong? Oh god. Time to peek behind the veil of death once again. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Summon the shape ghost! Bleh! Up, up, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. Raccoon summoning powers activate. Form of rectangle. Oh, there's the rectangle. Is that a lady rectangle? Aww. Wow, I've been summoned. How thrilling. I love your coat. How wonderful to be summoned by someone with such a delightful coat. Th thank you. For what purpose have I been brought back to the world of the living? A friend of yours hired me to give you a message. A friend? Oh my! Was it my square friend? This seems like the wonderful sort of thing they would do. Yes, indeed it was your square friend. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Rectangle loves you! What was the message? They want you to know that they still think very dearly of you. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yes, hooray! Can you relay a reply message for me? Can you tell them that I continue to think of them very dearly of them as well? I continue to think very dearly of them as well. Sure, I'll go let them know. Oh my god, thank you! Rectangle loves you! Oh, hey, go square, buddy. Oh, no, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to hit the button! Oh my god, you have to literally stand right in front of them to talk to them, it's really weird. Did you tell them? Oh my, what did they say? I'm so excited to hear. Aww. They continue to think very dearly of you as well. That is amazing news! I knew it in my soul, but I'm so happy to hear it. Can you do me one more favor? Can you give them one more message from me? Sure, what is the message? Can you tell them that I am certain we will be dear to each other forever? Oh, <laughs> this game got, this game got deep, so romantic. Can you tell them that for me? Yes, of course I'll tell them. I don't care, I know you guys want me to be a jerk, but this is so beautiful. This is a better, what, what's the thing? Better love story than Twilight? Is it, it's, it's too late for me to be making Twilight jokes, isn't it? It's like a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm not in with the hip crowd. Well, hello again. Did my square friend react with uh, when you told them about my continued dearness? They are... S they want to get shape married to you? They are certain your mutual dearness will last forever. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel the same way. Tell them that I feel the same way. Sure, we'll do. Oh, uh, one last thing. Do you know of any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? No, I don't think so. Why do you ask? Just looking for someone who I... Never mind. Aww. This is... Did he love a shape person? Did he love the crescent? Look, there's a picture of him right there. I can't interact with it, but I, I see it. Crescent person looks kind of, uh, frumpy, though. Alright. How did they react, I must know? They feel the same way. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you so much for all of your help, friend. I will send your payment and tip through the network. I hope you have a wonderful week and life. Aw, thanks, buddy. I find no satisfaction in my work anymore. Although I'm not sure if I ever really did. But it pays the bills. More often than not, it does not pay the bills. More often than not, it does not pay the bills. How dare you put a double negative in a sentence. Blah! Alright, I'm gonna press the button because it doesn't let me do anything else. The world just keeps on spinning over and over again. Oh boy. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? You're the most nihilistic raccoon I've ever seen in my life. 
Press the button and send in the next shape client. Blah! Oops, missed. Okay, one more time. Boop. There we go. Pressed it. A triangle. Hello, little triangle. Your face is very squinty. Hey, I'm a triangle. Whatever. <laughs> uh, you're my favorite shape person. It's not a big deal. Who cares? You the summoner? Uh, yeah, sure. Good. I went to like two places already, and they were both the wrong place. <laughs> you need to get your life together, triangle person. You're hard to find if someone has the wrong address. You should look into that. But yeah, I need you to summon someone. A star. A big pointy star. That'd be me if I was a shape person. I'd be a little, because I'm a more star. I'd be, I'd be a little pointy star. I'd be, I'd be a great star, people. You know what a star is, right? Yes, I'm familiar with shapes. <laughs> Good, alright. Here's a thing of theirs. You need a thing, right? Yeah, it's sort of a wallet thing, I think. I guess it's just a regular wallet. Looks weird, though. Why would a star need a wallet? Like, where would you even keep that? It's not like a star has pockets or anything. You know, now that I'm spending a lot of time looking, it actually doesn't look that weird. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it. So yeah, their wallet, here you go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that long story of a wallet. Summon them and tell them the triangle says they're sorry. I wish I had, like, bigger words or whatever, but I don't think it matters. Sorry should be good enough. Meh. Let me know when they're all done, okay? You are a very apathetic triangle. You need to get your triangle life together, sir. Whatever, I'm doing my job. I am a raccoon and I summon shape people from the dead. Doing this ritual feels exactly like you would expect. Touching death to feel. Wow, okay, Mr. Saddy Frown Face. It's not a great feeling. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? I, I, I guess so, but it's obviously making you more dead and hollow inside. This disco party is my favorite part of the game so far. Ah, oh, it's Star Person! Aw, oh, you're adorable! Look at your little star face! I love this! Aw, oh, you're so cute! Oh, that felt pretty weird. You're a raccoon. Hello. I am a raccoon, yes. I've heard of these summoning things, but I didn't expect one would happen to me. So, uh, what can I help you with? I was hired by a triangle to summon you and let you know that they're sorry. Dot, dot, dot. Are, are you serious? They're sorry? They murdered me! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I murdered you. Like, my bad. They put a knife right in my shape face! Oh, um, I did not know that. Wait a minute. What did they give you to bring me here? You need a personal item of mine, right? They gave me this, um, wallet. What? <laughs> That's the wallet they stole when they killed me! Wow, triangle, triangle guy's a douche. Like a mega douche. They killed me for that wallet. My perfect star face got stabbed for that thing. Jeez, I could have just asked to borrow some star face money or something. The gall, the absolute gall. I gotta agree with you, star person. That's messed up. Dot, dot, dot. Well, uh... That's the extent of the summoning. They didn't have any other messages for you. Sorry about all this. Unbelievable. Tell them I hope their angles get ripped off. Tell them I hope someone sandpapers away their terrible shaped face. Mm, okay. Hey. One last thing. 
Have you run into any crescents during your time in the Death Realm? What? No. I don't care. Go away, I'm done with this. It's not understandable, you did get stabbed in the star face, that's no cool. Alright, you're a douche nugget, so... Figured as much. The past is the past, though. Can't dwell on old mistakes. Had to put this behind me, and now it's over. Thanks for your help, or whatever. I left some cash on your desk. Later. Wow, you're a douche, triangle guy. I've been doing this for years, and I've only met three or four shaped ghosts who have seen a crescent. And it's always been the wrong crescent. I'm not sure why I keep doing this. Because you have no other monetizable skills. Oh, uh, that's how I feel. That's what being an adult feels like. Wow, how long is this game? I'm just gonna fuddle about with my little tiny raccoon feet. Look at look at me go. Alright. Another day, another button. What a life. Gosh. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? I, I guess so, if you don't feel like killing yourself first. Hollow waste of raccoon existence. The button has been pressed. Rejoice. Uh, okay, hey. Six sides. Six points. I am a hexagon, and I have arrived. Ha! Huh, you gonna put a hex on somebody? <laughs> You must be a summoner. I can tell because I was just looking at a photograph of you. Okay, yeah, that would that would definitely be accurate. I realize you're probably nervous dealing with a shape such as my mathematical elegance. So is there a shape face hierarchy or something where the more sides you have, apparently like the cooler you are or something? Oh, like a like a race thing? Like, you know, in society, darker people are kind of viewed as less, and lighter people are viewed as more, even though they shouldn't be, and that doesn't make any sense. It's that kind of, like, the shape people equivalent to, like, racial... racial status? I don't know, I'm thinking really hard about shape people now, I should probably stop, sorry. If there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know. Shape's a shape. What a simple view of things you have. That is not a judgment, just an observation. If anything, I envy your simplicity. You're kind of a douche. Thanks. Before we begin, I have an important query. Can you summon any shape? I don't know, I guess. For instance, can you summon shapes that have even more sides and points than I do? Yeah, I guess. Yes, I can summon... <clears throat> Any deceased shape person, no matter the shape, and no matter the number of sides or points. I can even summon shapes with no sides or points, such as circles. All that is needed is an item that they owned and interacted while with while alive. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, yes, I do have such an item. The shape I would like to summon is a cross. Twelve sides, twelve points. Perfection. K K. A chill flows through me, just thinking about them, and their glory. That's creepy. I must admit, I am worried that I am not worthy of their acknowledgement. I am a ghastly shape in comparison, an abomination. I am six sides of trash and six points of garbage. Gosh, you guys are really, get really tough on yourself. Yeah, what is so special about having more sides and points? Your shape. It's difficult to explain to a non-shape. There's a mathematical importance that runs through the core of our being. Okay. Anyway, here's the item you require. It is a rose, which I have pressed and preserved. It was thrown to me by the cross during one of their performances. They were a singer. Probably, did they sing, like, Jesus songs? Because, like, cross... Sorry, I'm not funny. Their music lifted me out of the darkest period of my life, and now I owe them everything. I just... I want them to know. Aww. I'm sorry. It feels a bit silly now that I'm here. Aww, it's not silly, buddy. You're weird, but... You know, whatever. I will summon them and let them know. Thank you, summoner. Ah! 
Oh man, we get to do the disco raccoon party. Here we go. Time to laugh in the face of shape death. I shall summon the dead shape person I need to talk to. Summon the shape ghost. Go. Woo! Raccoon disco party. Raccoon disco party. Raccoon disco party. Do 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 summon shapes. Raccoon disco party. Raccoon disco. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. Oh, that wasn't quite a cross, I imagine. I guess it's more like an X, but an X is a cross, technically. Alright, you got a weird looking face, cross guy. I'm kind of scared to talk to you. Huh, are you gonna get cross with me? <laughs> Alright, sure, whatever. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, it's almost been a year. Same coat, huh? Wow, don't be a jerk, cross guy. Hey, Cross, how have things been in the death realm? Eh, just the usual sort of drama. My trio split up, so I'm looking to start a new group to sing with. In the afterlife, apparently. Oh, I was briefly dating a Decagon. You can imagine how that went. Whoa, shape sex. They managed three dates before bringing up the perfection of the ten... Ten gons? Over... There are other shapes. I don't know the mathematical word for that, sorry. Yeah, speaking of which. Just tell your client what you always tell them. The cross says that you too are a shape of worth and dignity. Did you know that I still get summoned at least once a week for this kind of thing? It's sweet, but also really depressing. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. It was good to see you again. Sorry if I interrupted anything. Nah, I had nothing going on today. Oh hey, I ran into a crescent a month or two ago, but it wasn't the one you knew. Just wanted you to know that I'm still keeping an eye out. Aw, thanks Mr. Cross. Thanks Cross, I appreciate it. No problem, raccoon. See you around. You have fun in shape people heaven or whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Were you able to summon the cross? Did you give them my message? Yes, the cross appreciated your sentiments and wanted me to tell you that you are a shape of worth and dignity. How extraordinary. A shape of so many sides and points saying that it means so much. Thank you for your help. I will send your payment right away through the network, of course. I must go now. I have a lot to think about. Extraordinary. Whew, I wonder what my life would be like had the fire never happened. If in a single night it hadn't consumed both the life of my crescent. If in a single night it hadn't consumed both the life of my crescent and any item that would have let me contact them in the death realm. Aw, this is sad. No use thinking about these things. And yet I cannot stop. I just treat myself to a pizza. Yes, you should, raccoon. You need to lift your spirits. You're still wearing the same coat after a year, for God's sakes. Aw, oh, aw, oh, come on. The pizza place is already closed. It's a Sunday. Shape God hates you, raccoon. Alright. When was the last time I went outside? I wonder if the weather is nice today. God, this is, this is sad. Look at his sad raccoon eyes. Look, I'm gonna bring up the mouse. Just just look at his look at a sad raccoon face. Is a raccoon a shape? So it should be. Alright, probably not. It hasn't been for a while. Shall I press the button and send him a next client? Do it! I've pressed the button. No turning back now. Mm, okay. Ding dong! Who's there? It's me, Parallelogram. Parallelogram who? A quadrilateral of two pairs of parallel sides. Is this like a good way to teach your kid shapes or something? I don't think I would teach a kid using this game, because look at their creepy shape faces. I don't know, I'd probably have nightmares if I was a child. That was a joke, but it was a joke based on the truth. Uh, this is nice. Nice to meet you, Parallelogram. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> oh, God, this is painful. You may be wondering why I said meat in a strange way. It's because I actually said M-E-A-T on account of you being a flesh being. Oh my god, this is going to be the longest day of my raccoon life. 
Parallelograms are not usually comedians, but I know many jokes and enjoy telling them. Unfortunately, you're not very good at them. That's all right. Would you like to hear another joke? Please, no! No! Clearly, your sense of humor is out of shape. Yes, and so are you. Because you're not a shape, and I am a shape. Ah, oh, Jesus, Lord Buddha Vishnuwala. We should get down to business. Which means no more funny business. Good, shut up. I'd like you to find my heart. No, I do not mean the organ, because shapes do not have flesh parts. I know. You're a parallelogram. Also, when I say heart, I do not mean a romantic belonging. What I'm talking about is a shape person whose shape is the form of a heart. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. All right. Ah, oh, son of a mother. Understood. What are you standing under? <laughs> Man, I need to add in a laugh track for you, parallelogram. That was another joke. I enjoy doing improvisational jokes now and then. Here's an item they owned while they were alive. It's a joke book. They gave it to me when they discovered that they were dying. Uh, oh. Oh, god. Dying for me to tell more jokes? <laughs> this should work. Do you have a message you would like me to pass along to them? I would like you to let them know that I'm still telling jokes every single day. And every married day? Aw, oh, come on. Also, please ask them if they've learned any good jokes since I, the since they've been dead. Oh, God. I'm dying to know. This is what they pay me for, really? Sure, was there anything else? That is all. Thank you for your help, raccoon. Um, oh, no, I don't know any good raccoon jokes. That, that, that. That, that, that again. I will think of a raccoon joke for next time. Yeah. Uh, please don't. It's time for disco dancing. The raccoon is a prancing, cause he will summon faces. I wish the candles in this room were scented. Shape ghosts smell like sweaty crocodiles. Ew, gross. Salashaman, salashalashalashi. <laughs> you guys, you ready to for this let's play? I'm just, I'm so with it right now. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Summon the shape ghost! Time for more disco raccooning! Bam, 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 bam. Touch and death looks awesome and kind of um, flash edited. Oh, it's a heart. It's got kind of a butt nose. Alright, buddy, what's up? What happened? Oh, I've been summoned! Neat. How can I help? I've been hired by a parallelogram to give you a message. Oh, huh. Did you hear some, uh, hilarious jokes? You could say that. They mean well. They have a hard time communicating with people, and the joke stuff helps with that. The jokes are terrible, but it helps them to think about what they're trying to say. I wish I could have done more to help them, but then I went and died. How are they doing? They wanted you... They wanted you to know that they're still telling jokes every day. Actually, the exact wording was every single day and every married day. Oh, God, these jokes hurt. Believe it or not, their jokes have gotten better since I last saw them. I'm really glad to hear they're still talking to people. I've been worried. They're also dying to know if you've learned any new jokes since you've died. Oh, uh, l let's see. What did the square say to the circle? Not to take sides, but you're pretty pointless. I'll be honest, it's, I'm not much better at jokes than they are. I'm sure they'll love that. Can you tell them that I'm so happy that they're still telling jokes and that I miss hearing them? Will do. Oh, Oh, one last thing. Do you know any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? Just one. Why? Do you know how long ago they died? And do you know if it was a house fire? Oh, mm. Sorry, I don't know how they died. 
I know it was a while ago. Like, a hundred years or so. Oh, okay. That wouldn't be the crescent I'm looking for, then. Thanks, anyway. No problem. Aw, I wonder if Raccoon will ever find his long-lost crescent buddy. I wonder if he loved that crescent. Oh, no. What is black and white and red? A raccoon book. Because raccoons are black and white and books are read. I figured out a raccoon joke while you were gone. That's a good one. The heart wants you to know that they're happy you're still telling jokes. They miss hearing them. Yes, I will continue to tell jokes until I am dead. And then I will continue telling jokes after that, because life continues after death for shapes. Oh, and they have a new joke for you. What did the square say to the circle? See you around? You, you got it. You're a joke master. Thanks for all of your help. I have to leaf now, like a tree. I must sail away. See you later. That's S-E-A, like the body of water. You are good at listening to jokes. Okay. I got into this type of work to find them. The Crescent. Now I do it because I don't know what else to do. I'm not even sure what I'd do if I found them. I need to get some food. Did I eat today? Hmm. Someone left something outside my office door. It was a muffin basket from the parallelogram. Aww. That was nice to you, you. That was nice of you, you weirdo. Oh, this game's much longer than the other ones, actually. It's starting to get to some advanced stuff, I see. What would happen if I sent myself through the shape tube? I don't know. You're pretty fleshy for that, raccoon buddy. I wish there were raccoon tubes. You could use the door! Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Yes, send him in. Boop, button pressed, and the day marches forward. Oh, who are you? Oh, a diamond, alright. I heard you're a girl's best friend. Hello, good day. I'm a diamond. Please do not call me a rhombus. I can see how that might be degrading. The naming of shapes is very important, and there's no reason why a rhombus can only be called a diamond if they happen to stand on one of their points. I, I suppose that's true. Uh, okay, sure, diamond, whatever. I'm glad I have a level-headed summoner. Now I'd like you to summon a shape for me. But I have an ethical question first. It's, it is ethical... Is it unethical to blah 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 blah? I've given up YouTube. I can no longer speak. It's it's over now. It's over. Is it unethical to summon someone I didn't get along with at all? A shape who may not wish to hear from me. Yeah, that describes about half the summonings I do. I still have my doubts. I suppose that by coming here, I've already made my choice. So there isn't much, uh, utility in discussing it. I'd like you to summon another diamond. Here's an item that they owned. An unopened bottle of extremely valuable shape wine. Shape wine is made from the juice of deceased shapes? Ew. This particular bottle was made from their corpse? Oh my god, what? What? Bad high. Bad. I assume the remains of their body is personal enough item to work for the summoning? Oh, God. Just quit your job, raccoon. Just quit. Go to the Bahamas and lay on the beach and just n never, ever come to work again, okay? Shape people are weird, alright? <sighs> yes, that'll work. I apologize if this is upsetting. It is not uncommon for certain higher class shapes to request their bodies to be turned into wine after death. 
The wine is never to be opened or drank. It is to be a lasting reminder of their elegance and superiority. You guys have a weird hierarchical system, alright? Was there a message you wanted me to give the diamond? Uh, yes. Well, so sort of. I should explain. I was their child. A oh, little diamond child. They did not think me as a worthy member of their family. I just want to know. I'd like to know if their opinion of me has changed at all since death. Understood. I'll perform the summoning and let you know what they say. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Crescent, my Crescent. If this is a photo of the Crescent, couldn't I just use the photo on the wall to summon the Crescent if that's a personal item of theirs? If it's a photo of them? Or does it have to be something that they owned? Well, it's just whatever. Maybe I can finish in time to see the sun setting. Or maybe I'll just lay on the ground for a while after my client leaves. Shall I shum- Shall I summon the shape of the dead person I need to talk to? Gee golly gee, I think we should summon the shape ghost. All these flashing colors are starting to actually give me a headache. Oh, just cracked my neck, sorry. Oh, hey, a real diamond. Okay. Ah. Uh, do what do I owe the honor of this intrusion? Wow, jerk. I've been hired to summon you by another diamond. A air, a, a air, a hair, a, I can't talk, I'm so dead. An air of yours. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I have no diamond offspring. Whoa, this diamond is a jerk. You must be speaking of the rhombus. Whoa! That's... That's mean, lady. Or... Sir? Do, do shape people have genders? I don't... I don't know. You guys... Make each other into wine and stuff. It's weird. When I died, I used it as an opportunity to rid myself of all the undesirable elements that plagued my life. Whoa! Jerk! They're but a stranger to me now. I have nothing to say to them. You're a jerk! You're a monster! You're a terrible- you're a horrible person! You should- you should die all over again, because- JERK! So says the trash-eating bag of flesh. We are finished. I never want to see this disgusting world again. No one wants to see you either! Jerk. Oh, man. Uh, that was very quick. It's okay. You don't need to give me the details. I can imagine what they said. Sorry, Diamond. I needed some sort of closure, and now I have it. They're ridiculous, and my life is better without them in it. Thank you for your help. I will send your payment through the network. Good day. Oh, Diamond. When I left the office that night, I noticed a bottle's worth of shape of wine poured out into the street. Oh, burn! That's going to smell really bad for days. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Oh, boy, did it ever. How many shape people am I going to see in this game? Here we go, another case. Indeed, Mr. Raccoon. Yes, I can do it. I can function as a productive citizen today. God, that's what I say every morning when I wake up, to be honest. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Press the button and send in the next shape client. Go! Beep boop! Another button well pressed. Crescent? Is that you? Oh, buddy? Hey, raccoon. Dot, dot, dot. I thought... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I didn't want you trying to find me. So I burned our house down and left without saying anything. I don't understand. I needed a change. You were getting really boring. 
So, you burned down the house and left? Yes, that's what I just said. You knew I was a radical when you met me. You also knew I was an arsonist. That was one of my greatest passions. You the, uh, shape equivalent to Carl? I've been searching for you for so long. Why come back now? I just... I needed you to know. I needed you to know how boring I think you are. Oh my god, jerk. Freaking... Freaking Circle Crescent jerk. It's been really rough knowing that you don't know that. Wh what? What? Oh, alright. Well, now I know. Great. I'm gonna jet, alright? Please don't keep looking for me. Also, I can't believe you still have that coat. Laters. <sighs> that was depressing, alright. Case closed, I suppose. This isn't really how I expected things to turn out. Gonna take a while to process all this. Oh, raccoon buddy. I think I'll go to the beach. That's right, buddy. You don't need no crescent shape jerk trying to ruin your life. You go to the beach, have yourself a whatever raccoons drink, enjoy the day. Yes, I haven't been to the beach in years. Today's beach day, even if it rains. Words of wisdom, good raccoon friend. It did rain, but that was okay. Oh man, the story, what? What? Oh god. That poor raccoon. Good old nihilism, blah, 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 blah. So if you haven't played this game, you should totally go play it and 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 do it. Maybe there are different outcomes? I'm not really sure. Um, this is the outcome I got. I'll probably play it a few more times by myself to see if there are different outcomes. Like I did with, um, uh, Llama, or, yeah, Dating Simulator 1. I've done it with all the games, actually, so. Anyway. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening. This is Amori. I'm still kind of taking in the raccoon thing. Kind of. Just. It's very sad. But I'm glad he went to the beach. Even though it rained. I bet it was still a great day. Maybe ate some garbage when he was done. I don't know. Did, did raccoon stuff. That's what's important. That's what's important. Hope you're having a wonderful day or evening. I'm Amori. Now listen to the pixely tunes.